In this Appfolio video, we're going to talk about how to address work orders that have newly come in from a tenant. So, typically, what would have already happened is you would have received an email from Appfolio saying that there is a new work order request. Once you log into Appfolio, this is the view that you see from the dashboard. To go to the work orders, you've got a top row here of options. Maintenance is one of them and below that you've got work orders. Let's go ahead and click on that. That brings us to this screen here that has all of the work orders that are currently outstanding. Now I'm logged into the emergency hours line so I see all the work orders from all the properties that To Be Living manages. The first one here is new. This is the one that has come in just recently. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So here, now inside the work order, you've got all the details that you need. You've got a description. It looks like we have a central heater that is no longer working. You've got the property, you've got the owner, and you've got the tenant for this work order. There's a little more information to digest as well. You've been reminded that this property has a maintenance limit of 500, so we can't really uh, address very large issues at this property without going to the owner first. And then we continue down. There's no more information here as that's what we're going to be filling in. So the first thing to do with a new work order is to go into actions and notify the tenant. You want to do this because you want to let them know that you've addressed or that you're beginning to address the issue. So here, a simple email. Thank you for submitting your request via the portal. Very helpful. I will be sending our maintenance technician to address the issue first thing Monday morning. And there you go. So a quick email here to the tenant, letting them know that you've uh, that you see the work order, that you're you're on top of it, you're addressing it, and in this case, this one has come in on Sunday, so it's not a, an emergency in this situation. We're not uh, at this point; the temperature is not in, in such a case where they really can't live without um, the heat. Although we all know uh, heating issues are very critical and ones that we need to get to as soon as possible. Uh, regarding getting to work orders, our goal is to address all new work orders within 24 hours of them coming in unless they've come in over the weekend uh, and then at that point it's the emergency after hours uh, PM that, that needs to handle that. Uh, but we need to be addressing work orders uh, at the very least within 24 hours and hopefully sooner and that, that's just the first touch. That doesn't mean it needs to be solved in that amount of time. That's just the first touch to the, to the tenant that, re, that they recognize that we've received the order and that we're on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and not send this, but if I were, this is, you know, I would, I would send it here. The, um, the resident would get uh, the message and we'd, be, we'd have the first step done in, in this particular case. The next one is going to be to assign it, all right? So we go back to Actions, I'm sorry, we actually go to Edit, and now we're within the work order. And here, you want to assign it to yourself, so in this case I'll assign it, uh, actually I can't assign it to myself here, so this is, since I'm in the after hours, this is the only person I can assign it to as a PM, so I'm assigning it to myself as the after hours uh, PM. I'll also assign it to, uh, a maintenance tech that I work with. In this case, I'll just choose Edgar. Um, but of course, you would want to choose your own maintenance tech. 
uh, for for the properties that you work on. And, and finally, I might have uh, some information for Edgar. You know, for instance, if there was a a code to get into the to the building or other details that he might need that I know. So. All right, the, the next is clicking this box, owner approved. This is certainly one that uh, we can move forward and say the owner has, has approved. Um, clearly, as this is getting diagnosed, if it were to escalate to something you know, uh, really serious, uh, an HVAC problem that we're, we're replacing systems, uh, Edgar would be coming back to us and we'd be bringing in a vendor and that's a whole nother discussion and a different video. So we're not going to address that just yet. In this case, it's owner approved to have Edgar go and uh, address the issue as, as a first step. So here, I'm going to hit save. He's going to get, Edgar is going to get uh, an email. I'll be updating him to let him know that this, is, this was more of a test. All right, so what have we, what have we done? We have notified the tenant, first step. Second step, we've assigned it to ourselves and to a maintenance tech if that's the route we believe we need to take. If this were clearly a vendor issue, we would have assigned it to a vendor. We've had owner approved, yes. And that's it. This is the first step to addressing your maintenance requests.